Hi, I'm Carrie Olson, and this clip that you're about to watch was taken from one of my monthly office hours calls that I have with my membership group, the VoiceOver Success Intensive. So if you're interested in being a part of these office hours calls and interacting with us live, be sure to join the VoiceOver Success Intensive group. You'll be able to join in these calls live, and you'll also get access to about 100 hours worth of archived calls as well. You can find the link in the description, and uh, enjoy the clip. So a question came up in the VoiceOver Startup Facebook group, and this is from a brand new, someone who's brand new to VoiceOver, and they're looking for a coach and wondering about the best way to find a VoiceOver coach and specifically where that coach should be. So the question is, what's the easiest way to find a coach? Just Google coaches in my area? And that seems like that would make sense. But I'm going to make a case for the fact that you don't need to have a voiceover coach who is physically near you. That's another big question that comes up a lot is, does my coach need to be physically near me? Do I need to be able to go into their studio and actually practice with them in person? And um, the answer is no. So let's talk about why. So first of all, I'll speak from my personal experience. I've had very little in-person training. I've gone to things like workshops, places where I've interacted with people and coaches in person, and also had acting classes and improv classes and things like that. But the majority of my voiceover specific training has been over Zoom. Most of my sessions have been remote and really 95% of the work that I do is remote also, meaning I do most of it from right here, from my home studio in Kansas. Your voiceover coach will be able to teach you everything that you need to know right over video meetings. And actually, I would argue that there are some advantages to remote training. So don't think that this is something that is a plan B because you live somewhere where there aren't any coaches nearby, so you have to resort to training over the internet. I think that it's actually better, and there are a few reasons for that. So first off, there is no limit to which coach you can sign up with. And then also convenience. I mean, you can get training in your pajamas. I don't recommend it, but technically you could. And you don't have to factor in drive time and all of that. So it's a lot more convenient. So to reiterate, for most voice actors, most of the training that they're doing is remote. Now, if you happen to live in New York or LA or Atlanta or Chicago or someplace where they have a lot of voiceover coaches, then you probably are going to have or at least could have more in-person training than most people who live in most parts of the world. But most people are getting their training remote and the majority of the work that you're going to be doing is remote also. Another huge advantage to getting remote training is that it helps you to get comfortable with this remote style of work. Because again, once you start booking work, most of that's going to be remote. And if you've only been interacting and interfacing with your coach in person, then it's going to be a whole new world once you start getting these jobs and have to record and deliver them remotely and communicate with all of your with all of your clients and have to manage all the different parts of your business. It's going to be a lot easier for you if you've already had those experiences with your coach. So to wrap up, voiceover coaching can happen anytime from anywhere. So no need to Google coaches in your area unless you just want to. I hope it was helpful. And if you want to join the intensive, use the link in the description to join us and I hope to see you in the next office hours call.